Sierra Rose, Gregory Bowers, Dasha Antipova, Stephanie Jockman, Kevin Mahoney, Jack Dickens, Geraldine Paredes, Max Morinelli, Nicole Yakura, Nirene Orisha, Andel Husbands. Tuesday, March 28th, 2017. Coming to you from the beautiful University of South Florida campus in Tampa, it's USF Housing Live! Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. This is USF Housing Live. My name is Gregory Bowers with Housing and Residential Education here at the beautiful University of South Florida in Tampa. Our motto in Housing and Res Ed is best place to live, best place to work, best place to learn. We've got an amazing lineup of guests, a ton of great videos produced by our all student crew for you. And of course, if you have any questions, go ahead, type them in the comments. They'll send them to me right here on the set and we'll answer you in real time. Let's go ahead and meet our lineup. We've got Dave Kloiber from Housing Assignments returning. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, Greg. Glad to be back. I am. Always glad to be back. All right. We're happy to have you. We have another returner from Career Services, Peter Thorsett this evening. Welcome, Peter. Good evening, Greg. Thank you for having me back. We're glad to have you here. And now we've got a newcomer from Dining Services, Jessica Chickalese. Jessica, welcome. Hi, Greg. Thank you for having me. We're glad to have you. Are you ready for some questions? I am. All right. So we're talking about Dining Services. So anyone out there, you got a question about dining, send it our way. So first question is, who are you and what do you do here? Well, I'm Jessica. I'm the registered dietitian with Dining on Campus. Um, I work one-on-one -on -one with students that have meal plans or student athletes that have meal plans. Um, we go over their, their diets and if they have any dietary concerns, allergens, um, we definitely work on that together. We go through tours of the dining facilities. If they have any questions, I'm able to help them make better decisions. Um, I'm also a USF Bull, so it's great to be back working here. All right, go Bulls. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit, what's the dining experience like on campus? So the dining experience is a way of life uh, on USF's campus. Everyone has to eat. So um, I have heard most people need to eat food to remain alive. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Yes, um, exactly. We have over 25 locations on campus. Um, some great national brands like Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Polio Tropical. We have three residential dining halls on campus. We have a great variety, a lot of healthy options as well. Awesome. And so a question on students' minds, of course, is how does a meal plan work on campus? Okay, so um, you, you pick out your meal plan. We have many to choose from. You can go to the meal plan office and check out on any of our meal plans. We have a, a great pamphlet that goes through all of the meal plans, about how many swipes you get, how many dining dollars. Um, meal plan swipes can be used at any of the dining hall locations. Um, depending on what plan you get is the amount of swipes that you can use per day, per week. Um, dining dollars um, are basically used at any of our national brands, again, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, as well you can use them in the residential dining halls. Awesome. And uh, can students get a meal plan if they live off campus? I know we have some commuters who will be watching this evening. We have a commuter plan, actually. So um, students that live off campus get to enjoy all the amenities of having a meal plan as well. Um, so, And you can dine in with your friends, too, that have meal plans on campus that live there. And so where do students go if they want to review the meal plans that are available to them? Um, my first recommendation would be the meal plan office, which is located um, MSC 1502. Um, we're open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Any of our um, employees in there can help you pick which meal plan that you're looking for. If you have any um, issues with your meal plan, anything like that, we're welcome to help you there. Well, great. And now for there may be students who are a little further away. I know we have a big audience in Jamaica, actually. Hey, Jamaica. Yeah. Um, they probably can't get to the Marshall Center too easily. So where can they go to explore the meal plan options? Right. So we have um, usfdining.com that you can check out. Um, we You can contact us in the meal plan office by phone, um, by email, anything like that. But all of our hours and meal plans um, information can be found on usfdining.com. Awesome. I got a question here from one of our viewers. Sure. Cynthia would like to know, how do we change our meal plan on our application? I'm assuming they've already done their their application for a meal plan, so how can they make a change? Right, so by visiting, if they're on campus, um, visiting the meal plan office, um, MSC 1502, uh, 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, they can definitely make that adjustment for them. Okay, excellent. So they can't do it online or anything? Um, it's best to visit the meal plan office. We always recommend them to, you know, so they can talk to somebody about it, like okay. that, yeah. And they have time after they arrive, they can do that, right? Correct, yeah, okay. we have about a week um, into the semester. Okay, great, so don't freak out, you've got time. And so Dave, do you have something to add on that? Orientation is actually a great time to, to make your first changes for your meal plan if you're an incoming student. 
That's great. And so people know orientation happens <laughs> right here on campus. So yeah, the Marshall Center will be here and open. So that's great. Thank you, Dave. Um, Jessica, another question for you. Um, where can students find out more information about the different dining locations? I want to start exploring now. Right. So we have maps located all over campus. Um, you can locate that map on usfdining.com. It shows all of our locations, our hours of operations. Um, in all of the residential dining halls, as well as the meal plan office, we have a, a map with all of the locations on there as well. Awesome. And so when it comes to payments, how does a student pay for their meal plan? Um, so it comes out of their OASIS, um, so basically um, those that need ask if they, they can use their financial aid or anything like that, um, once they pay um, for tuition fees and then housing and any other fees like books or things like that, then to check their balance on there and they can use that towards their meal plans as well. But everything's on, on OASIS, their balance. Okay, great. So does a student need to play for their pay for their meal plan right now? No, you don't have to. Um, it's just basically an upfront, there's no taxes or anything like that, just basically to hold your meal plan and you can um, pay it up to a later date that awesome. we put out there. Mm -hmm. And we have time for just one last question here. So how do I find out what the dining halls are serving that day? What's on the menu? Where can I get that information? Right. Again, online, um, usfdining.com. You can look at our menus ahead of time, kind of plan out what you want to eat for the day. Um, there's also some great nutrition information on there, too. If you want to see if you're eating vegan, vegetarian, um, we have what's being served in our dining hall locations um, right online. All right, excellent. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. Thank you for having me. And of course, for everyone watching, if you have a question for Jessica about dining services, keep sending them our way. We're all here for the, the rest of the half hour. Uh, we have a few videos for you prepared by our all-student crew, and we're going to be back with Peter Thorsett from Career Services right after this. My plan, my pathways is a program designed to help you explore different majors if you don't already have one. This amazing program starts when you start at USF during the orientation registration process. Hopefully you received a welcome email from my plan, my pathways and completed the two career assessments. If not, don't worry, there's still time to do so. Just contact our office for help. And once you've completed the assessments, keep an eye on your USF email account for personal invitations to career services, events, and programs for your area of interest. There's a lot available to you, so be sure and take advantage of them. Career Express is our office's walk-in service where there's no appointment needed. At Career Express, you'll work with other USF students, like me, who have been trained to help you prepare or critique your resume and cover letter. We're also here to help you with interviewing tips and techniques to help you land that perfect internship, co-op, part-time, or full-time job. Another one of the services our office can help students with is in identifying and applying for internship opportunities. There are currently a wide variety of both on-campus and off-campus internship programs our office can assist you with. We offer support to find opportunities in a range from settings from local nonprofit organizations to corporate placements around the world. Career Services provides you with a lot of opportunities to meet with employers at a variety of events. Our professional youth series will help you improve your networking skills or learn what employers are looking for when they hire. Our careers in coffee, information session, and employer spotlight programs let you meet our employers in less formal settings to learn about their organizations and the positions that USF students and graduates can apply for. Employable Powered by Handshake is our all new career management website. Launching during the summer of 2016, Handshake will allow USF students to be able to search for internships, co-op positions, part-time and full-time positions available with our employers. To get started using Handshake, you will need to upload your resume and complete your profile. This allows the system to help you find jobs that match your skills, interests, and qualification. Borrow a suit and own your interview. The Suitable Service is an awesome partnership between Career Services and the student organization Enactus at USF. Students who don't own business or professional clothes can stop by during the semester and borrow clothing items for up to 48 hours for interviews, career fairs, and other job-related events.
All right, we are back, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So, uh, again, we're here with Peter Thorsett from Career Services. Peter, how you doing? Good, thank you, Greg. You ready for some questions? I sure am. Well, how about you tell us who are you and what do you do here? <laughs> well, once again, I'm Peter Thorsett. I'm the Communications and Marketing Officer for the Office of Career Services here on campus. And my primary responsibility is to come out for events like this and to be available on campus to tell students about all the great things we have going on in our office. Awesome, and so um, let's talk about that. <laughs> what does your office offer to our students? Well, that's a great question. Career Services is an office that a lot of students kind of think is their last stop on their way out uh, at graduation to kind of find a job. But we're actually an office that works with you from the moment you register for orientation here on campus. So we're going to help you with everything from putting together a resume, a cover letter, interviewing help. We can help you find uh, student employment and part-time employment. We can help you find internships and cooperative education opportunities. And of course, once you're ready to graduate, we're here to help you find a job. Awesome. And so when should students start using the service? I've heard like second semester senior year. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that is absolutely not when we want students to use this. Although if you find yourself in that mode and you're a senior right now, please do come in and see us. We will still help you. But we really want students to start using our service when they're freshmen. So, or if you're a transfer student that first semester on campus, because that'll let you start to understand how you can start to build out a career plan um, and all of the things that you need to do to make sure that you're going to be marketable um, when you do graduate to find that perfect full-time job. Awesome. Um, so there's something called Career Express I want mm -hmm. to ask you about. What is that service for our students? So Career Express is actually a really awesome service for our students. It's a drop-in service, which means you don't have to have an appointment. Um, you can simply come by our office uh, Monday through Thursday from 9.30 to 4.30, or you can visit our location over in the library on the first floor across from Starbucks from 5 until 7, also Monday through Thursday. And we have trained students there uh, who are our career peers who can help you with everything from resume and cover letter assistance they can look at if you're looking at a particular job or internship opportunity, how to tailor that resume or cover letter. They can help you with some interview tips and tricks. If you're going to a networking event, they can help you with that. And they can also help you navigate the online job systems like Handshake and uh, careers at USF. So they're really there to help you um, navigate that process without having to have an appointment. Excellent. So I'm sure a lot of people watching are seeing this through the lens of, this is what will help me once I graduate and move mm -hmm. on to my career, but does this have any application for those students looking for part-time employment while they're here? Absolutely, so we have a lot of students who come here and need to be employed while they're attending the university so that they can continue to pay those bills, so they can have awesome meal plans, so they can live in the, the fantastic facilities we have here. Um, and so our office can work with students to um, look at and evaluate the part-time opportunities that are available. We can also help students who have been awarded a federal work study as part of their financial aid package and help them secure federal work study work here on campus um, and help them navigate that process so that they find a job that fits with their student lifestyle um, and that it doesn't conflict with their class load. Great. And a moment ago, you mentioned something called the Handshake System. <laughs> What is that? So Handshake is a system we're very excited about. We switched to the Handshake platform uh, last summer. And Handshake is essentially the online tool that students can use to find uh, part-time opportunities off campus. They can use that to find internships and cooperative education opportunities. They can use that to find full-time positions. And they can also use that to access information about all of the events that we host in Career Services. So everything from resume writing workshops to um, we have a Dress for Success program we run with our pseudo program here on campus to our career fairs and the cool thing is is it's a nation a national platform which means that companies from all over the country are actually in the handshake system and so students can do research on companies and look for opportunities that are not just here locally in Tampa awesome and I've got a live question for mm -hmm. you here Cynthia would like to know who do we contact if we haven't received our My Plan My Pathway invitation. So anyone, so My Plan My Pathways really briefly is a great program. It's something that we do with students as they're coming through the orientation process because part of career planning uh, for students is figuring out if you're in the right major. So if you're not sure or you're on an exploratory curriculum track, My Plan My Pathways is a tool that you can use to kind of explore that. If you haven't gotten your online invitation and you've completed your registration for orientation, simply give our office a call. We're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or you can send us an email uh, at careerservices at usf.edu. Send us your name and U number and we'll check it out and get you an invitation. Sometimes they take a little bit of time because we get that data from orientation. So if it's been more than a day or so, um, definitely reach out to us and we'll make sure that you haven't gotten kind of lost in that shuffle. Okay, so there's no reason to freak out though. <laughs> no, and you've got plenty of time to finish it. You just need to make sure it's done by the time you arrive on campus for orientation. Okay, great, great. 
Um, students often talk about internships being a big part of the college experience, really important. Yep. Where does your office play a role there? So you're absolutely right. Internships are, are critical now in terms of, of the college experience. Um, and we're finding that students who have just one internship aren't even that competitive anymore. So we're recommending students have multiple internship experiences. And so what our office can help you do is as soon as you arrive on campus, we have a great program like On Campus Interns. Um, and the OCIP program can help students find those opportunities here on campus. They can also help you build the skills you need so that when you're ready for an off-campus internship experience in your major or in an area or an industry that you're interested in working in, we can actually help you find those internships, apply for them, and actually secure those internships. So we have a whole team now that is devoted to nothing but internships. So it's awesome. a pretty cool opportunity for students. Great, we got a few seconds left. Sure. Last question, how much does all of this cost? It is absolutely free to use all of our services. So students are paying for this as part of their student fees. Please, please, please come out, visit us early, visit us often, and take advantage of career services. All right, Peter, thank you so much for joining us thank tonight. Thank you, Greg. You heard the man, it's free, use it. Coming up next, the first installment of our documentary series, A Year with Celeste. This is a first year student we followed around all year with her permission. And we got some other videos we're gonna roll. So more Housing Live coming your way right after this. My favorite part about visiting the rec center is um, seeing people from my classes or from my hall and um, just being around a community of people where um, like exercise is important to them and being able to have like common goals. Going to the gym was just like five minutes away for me so it was an easy walk. It's kind of like uh, a stress reliever for me. It's something to like get away from everyone. I was able to swim laps, I can just like think about my day or just not think about anything at all, just totally zone out. Um, I tried to go at least once a week, sometimes I would miss, um, but I definitely took advantage of the pool and the classes they had. I've done like yoga or spin classes and they're really fun. Uh, it kept my energy level up, it raised my endorphins, it kind of just like kept me in a better mood and um, it actually um, gave me more energy to like do homework. Like I would go to the rec center before I started my homework, like after my classes and um, it was a good like um, pace for my day, it, like kept my day moving. It's good to like just keep my body moving. And... Let's be honest, not every moment is spectacular. But if you live where the bulls run, excitement runs wild. Follow USF Housing on Instagram. From the first day, it felt like I was walking into a family. I was walking into a group of friends that were going to have my back. The study abroad trip to London was a lot of fun. Our LLC went on as a group, and we got to tour international agencies, which was amazing. And they even bring tutors to our floor, which helps a lot. And really just all the events that go on in the Bulls business community with professional development, there's etiquette dinners, corporate tours, everything. For residents, the Honors LLC is special because it represents their family away from home. Really started to grow in a professional environment. I uh, networked a lot, met a lot of other people in my field, which was amazing. I came back because it's an amazing experience. All of the friends that I've made in combination with all of the amazing events that we do is breathtaking and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, so we all live and study together in the same place and it really helps uh, stay focused because uh, pre-nursing is a really hard uh, track, especially with the anatomy courses, so it helps to have that support. You get a lot more than just a floor of engineers. With the floor of engineers, you get study partners, you get mentors, and you get like lifelong relationships, I feel. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. It's very personal. They get to know you more on an individual basis. Through the LLC, we actually got to have a dinner with the deans, so I got to meet all of the deans of the College of Education. As soon as I moved in, though, I met so many people that are going to be my lifelong friends, so I would highly recommend it to anyone <laughs> considering it. Go Bulls! Go Bulls! Go Bulls! All right, welcome back everyone. For those of you just joining us, this is USF Housing Live. I'm Greg Bowers, you're not, and this is Dave Kloiber from Housing Assignments. Dave, how are you doing? I'm good, Greg. I'm so glad to have you back here. It's like your 90th episode or so. We're getting there, yeah. You ready to answer some questions? Always. Okay, I got 400 questions. Let's get into it, Dave. All right, so tell us, um, do Florida prepaid students have specific residence halls reserved? Kayla would like to know. Uh, no, they don't have specific residence halls reserved, however, they have certain 
uh, rates that they'll that Florida prepay will pay up to. We have not been notified as what that rate those rate structures will be. We'll know more about that probably more like June, July. Okay, great. Uh, Sophia would like to know, how does summer semester housing work? Summer semester housing is uh, essentially you'll apply for the term that you need housing for. So if you're taking an A, a summer A class or a summer B class, you should apply for that term that covers the time that you're going to be taking classes on campus. For most of our our audience watching today, they're going to be applying for summer A, for summer B, for summer SSS, or for summer AFES. All right, excellent. Uh, another question for you. They're all Dave questions now. Um, how many classes do you have to take during summer in order to stay on campus? Carly would like to know. To live on campus, you need to be registered for at least one credit. That's and it. One credit can live one on campus. Credit. Okay, take that credit, students. All right, so um, Hunter would like to know, will Summit Hall be ready by August 13th? I'm doing the STEM Academy, and I need to move in on August 13th. At this time, my, my information is that Summit and Beacon will not open until August 17th. If that changes in the future, we will notify our students, but at this time, if you live in one of those two buildings, you won't be able to request to arrive early. All right, thank you for letting us know. And so students, be aware of that, that the two buildings in the village, Beacon and Summit, are currently slated to open on grand opening day. That is Thursday, August 17th. And so uh, Cynthia would like to know, oh, sorry, we already asked the Cynthia question, but Ryan would like to know, when can I switch from sweet style to traditional? Are the forms for room switch out yet? So asking about room change requests. So well, we've had a lot of things actually happen in the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we not only opened up room selection for all of our new students, but also all of our, we've continued the process for all of our continuing students, but we've also opened up our room change process. And so for those students who want, want to actually change their room that they've already selected, they can log in now, look at what's available, and make their change. All right, excellent. Now, does that, you complete the form and you're automatically changed, or is there a wait period? How does that work exactly? You're actually looking at the active, inventory that we have available and making your change yourself. You're not requesting a change, you're actually initiating that change. Great, and so let's not go back into room selection and do a second time, it's no. a different form. Go to room, room change, not room selection. Okay, and so folks know, usf.edu slash housing, click housing portal, you log in with your net ID and information, and then housing forms, right? Housing forms, yes, for room change. For room change. For room selection, you click room selection. Okay, so it's all going to be right there in front of you. And of course, if you need help, there's an email address and a phone number. Dave, how do they reach you? Email address is housing at usf.edu and our number is 813-974-0001. We're the first number in the exchange. We are number one. We are the we are. when they first installed telephones on campus, they did ours first, I think. Well, we have the most people. Yeah, and so that's true. We are big. <laughs> um, Cynthia has a question here. If we live in an LLC, are we able to change our room? That's a great question. Uh, some of it depends on what LLC you live in. Six of our LLCs are participating in the room change and room selection process. Those LLCs are Honors, Bulls Business, ZAP, Engineering, Education, and ROTC. So if you're living in one of those LLCs, there is a room selection and a room change form just for you. All right, excellent. Now, however, if you live in the LLC and you want to move out of the LLC, you need to talk to your LLC first in order to cancel your application to the LLC in order to move out of the LLC. Okay, great. And they should have received an email once they were accepted, right? Yes. Okay, and if for any reason anyone out there can't find that email, you can always get assistance with LLCs by emailing one word, livinglearning at usf.edu, and that will go to our academic initiatives team, which manages the LLC experience. So great. Question from Zach for you, Dave. Hi, I've applied to the Green LLC a couple days ago. When should I know if I've been accepted? And should I also apply to another building, the village? So I think we have a little bit of confusion about LLC versus applying for housing. So can you explain that to us, please? Well, when you're applying for an LLC, you're, going, you're applying for that experience, but you're also applying to where they're going to uh, house that LLC for, that, for the upcoming year. You probably should wait at least a couple of days to up to a week. If you haven't heard anything, use that email address that you just, you just heard you say, which is livinglearning at usf.edu. However, if you're not sure you're going to get in that LLC, go in and select your room. So if you want to live in the village and you, uh, you're going to have Beacon as your option, so select a room in Beacon now. And if you get into that LLC, then you can always be changed over 
to Maple in this case because Maple B is where the green LLC is. Excellent. So the LLC application is in addition to all the housing applications. It's in addition steps, to right? yes. Well, Dave, thank you. Oh, we are we never get enough time for Dave. Have time already? I'm sorry, Dave. We'll have a special Dave episode. We'll go to his house. He'll cook us a meal. It'll be great. Okay. But you're invited. You're all invited. Yes. yes. That's all right. All right. I'll tell my wife. <laughs> Free food. All right, so um, we're going to uh, show you a, a look into the International Student Association. We have tons of international students on campus, including on our marketing team right here. That's them. All right, so go ahead. Let's roll that. More Housing Live coming your way right after this. Um, my name is Sergi. I'm an advertising major right now in ZAP, which is a five-year master's program, and um, I moved here from Spain six years ago. To be completely honest, I had no idea where I wanted to go to college. There's all these colleges in Florida, and uh, I chose USF until I got accepted, and I decided to come tour. And once I toured and I saw the campus, I realized how, what an amazing campus it is, how many dedicated people actually work here, and it intrigued me. So I decided to choose USF. So uh, on moving day, I was I was nervous. I felt like I was gonna be it was gonna be high school, the first day of high school. You don't really know where you stand. You don't really know what you're gonna do. It's an awkward transition. But um, at USF, I felt right at home, especially because I was in an LLC. Everybody was very friendly. Right off the bat, we were like a small family. Well, I wanted to live in an apartment my first year because I'm an only child, and the idea of living with someone was absolutely horrifying. But now that I live on campus, I'm so grateful that I got recruited into an LLC because being at the center of everything, you're so much more involved, you're so much more part of campus life, and it's, it's so sad to see people commute, and they miss out on all these great things about being a freshman, about being in college. Coming into college can be really scary, but there's nothing really to be scared about. The quicker that you get over that, that anxiety of, of going somewhere new and being somewhere new, away from everything that you know, the quicker you'll realize that it's a really great thing and it's going to do wonders for you, so you might as well just jump right into it. My name is Dasha Antipova and I'm an international student from Russia and I'm the marketing director for the ISA. ISA is the International Student Association and it's an organization on campus that uh, promotes global diversity and um, empowers international students and uh, wants to ensure that international and domestic students can find each other, can make friends and can learn about each other's cultures. ISA hosts the International Night, which is a huge celebration of culture and diversity. This spring we have the International Ball, which is a similar celebration and it's more of a party type celebration, but we still have performances and of course food. It's a common misconception that only international students can join ISA. That's totally not true. We really welcome all the domestic students. Our vice president is a domestic student. I actually joined ISA as a freshman and I was living on campus and um, both my residence hall and the student organization that I joined were like a family to me and it gave me that feeling of support and uh, friendship that I was looking for. It was really helpful to me uh, to live on campus because everything was close, I didn't have to have a car, I knew where everything would happen and it's really easy for a student to socialize, to get the community where you just get out of your residence hall, you go to the MSC and you get that community right there at your fingertips. Go Bulls! Hey everyone, we are back. My name is Gregory Bowers with Housing and Residential Education here at the beautiful University of South Florida in Tampa. Our motto is best place to live, best place to work, best place to learn. We're so happy you took some time to join us here tonight. Thank you so much to our guests, Jessica, Peter, Dave, was that your name? I think so. Yeah, I, I work next to this guy, you know. Um, it's been a lot of fun having you all on the show with us tonight. We really do appreciate it. Want to let everyone know, we have another show coming up. There are 14 total episodes. So join us at 6 p.m. on Monday, April 10th. That's going to be our next episode. We're going to be live for 30 minutes. If you have any questions, you go ahead and you just ask them right there in the comments. We'll answer you in real time. Also, for those of you who found us on YouTube, know there is a USF class of 2021 Facebook group. And so you want to search for that. Look for the one with the logo. That's the official group. So make sure you join us in the group. If you have questions, the pin post at the top of the group has all kinds of experts. It's got all kinds of information for you. We're here for you 24 hours a day. Really appreciate it. And of course, folks, there is always just one last thing. Go, Go Bulls! Bulls!